Hi everyone and welcome back. I'm sure you know by now that I love fishing. It's my favorite pastime and when I get the opportunity I'm always on the water trying to fish. I remember as a 14 year old boy my father bought me a fly rod for trout fishing and I still have it. Uh, it's intact. It's in very, very good condition. I have treasured it. I've nurtured it. It's made of fiberglass. And uh, in its day, it was, it was a, the top rod. But so many things have changed in terms of technology. Today, we use carbon fiber. We use different materials. And the rods that are made today are far, far, far better. But I still keep that one in the cupboard. And it brings back many memories. You know, in our Christian experience and Christian walk, we can do the same. We can have little uh, memories from the past or great memories from the past that we treasure and we think about and uh, we, we share and we talk about. And these memories are good and it's good to remember what God has done. When you go through the book of Psalms, you'll often see the psalmist reminding the people of Israel what God has done. So this has, this has value. It does have merit. But at the same time, in our hearts and our lives, there needs to be a desire each and every day for something new. Isaiah 43, 19, he says, I want to do a new thing. Will you not perceive it? And there's a, an interesting word there. I want to do a new thing. Will you not perceive it? Are you looking for it? Are you searching for this new thing from God, this deeper walk, this new experience, this deeper relationship that he has planned and purposed, something that is fresh? We know that as a, as a Christian, if we're born again, we are in Christ, old things pass away and everything becomes new. It's a word that's given in the present continuous tense. Everything becomes new. So, Something can only be new by definition. Something can only be new when the old is gone. We can't walk with both. So I want to encourage you to cherish the memories and think of the memories, the good things that have happened and the things that God has done in your life and we can be grateful and thankful for. But never allow the past and the past experiences to so fill your heart and mind that there's no room for faith and expectancy for the new. The Bible tells us that the mercies of the Lord are new every morning. God has got something wonderful, something fresh for you and I today and tomorrow and every day. What a wonderful blessing that is for each and every one of us. In spite of all the things that are happening, in the midst of all the darkness, in the midst of all the issues of life, there's something new from God for us. Let's keep looking. May the Lord bless you.